So how can we save AWS credential so that I can define a profile when I execute in this command? So let's clear the screen. So if I type set AWS credentials, access key, is secret key is, and I can now say store as and give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to say my profile A. And when I type it, it gets saved as a profile. If I type uh, get AWS credentials and then type uh, list uh, profile detail, we can find out that my profile is being saved. Where did it save this profile information? It's saved under, if you're going to see users, name of this user is div user. So if I go into div user, local AWS toolkit. So if you go into this, uh, see users, whatever the name of the username, app data, local AWS toolkit, this is where it store the credentials if you don't specifically specify a profile. So you can see that my profile A is being saved. Now what I can do is when I'm calling, if I just call AWS uh, get uh, S3 bucket, so of course it doesn't have any access denied because I didn't set the credential, it's just stored as a profile. But the good thing is now I can say get uh, S3 bucket I can the profile name, I can give the profile name my profile A. And I took the credentials from this profile by default and then access this service. So let's say you don't want to save this uh, profile in the default location given here. So this default location is a good place to keep your credentials because um, it's under the user's uh, app data, which means that any other user does not have access to this file. Uh, let's say for some reason you decided you want to keep it in a different location. So let's say in the C location, let's create a new uh, folder called uh, My Profiles. And I want to save that one in this location. So in that case, what I'm going to say is uh, like this, set AWS credentials. Uh, access key like before secret secret key store as let's say my profile B and profile location I can now say see my profile and let's say test uh, config dot txt so it store that file as test config in that location. If you open it, it's available as a pure text file. So if I want to read this profile information, when I'm executing the uh, S3 command, I can specify it as uh, get S3 bucket. And I can say profile name is my profile B and the profile location is C my profiles uh, test config. If I do that, it still works and the profile came from the profile stored in this location. If I want to remove these uh, profiles, AWS credentials profile profile name, I can say the first location, you don't need to specify it, it's taken by default, my profile, A, it asks whether you want to remove it, and if I type yes, it will be removed. If I want to remove the second location, I can say the same thing, remove AWS profile name, it's the B, and the profile location is C, my profile, my test, sorry, Profiles test config text. Ask whether I want to remove it, so it's been removed. You can find that if you go into test file, you can find that there's nothing inside. 
and if you go into uh, C users user data this location you can find there's no file that keeps that profile information 